Rainwater harvesting has played an important role throughout Malta's water management history. In your opinion, how significant of a tool is rainwater harvesting to meet today's national water demand? Rainwater harvesting is the process of collecting rainwater with the intention of reuse and it can be applied um, at all levels. So, um, I'm, of course, rain falls everywhere on residential units, on commercial buildings. The advantage of rainwater harvesting is that the water is coming to you. So there are no issues of transportation of water from a water treatment plant to the, to the consumer. Other advantages of rainwater harvesting is, which is sometimes not, not mentioned, but it is of big importance, is that it prevents flooding. So, especially in an urbanized context like Malta, where flooding is a problem and is becoming increasingly so because of climate change, the fact that you've got the dual benefit of getting a renewable source of water. I mean, the quality of rainwater, in, for some uses, could be considered superior to town water. And I will explain this. For example, if you're using the uh, rainwater for the, for, the, for the washing machine, the fact that rainwater has no hardness and no salts from a water quality point of view for that intended use, it's actually superior to town water. How do non-conventional water resources fit in Malta's water policy framework? Malta is a small country. It's densely populated and its uh, fresh water reserves are limited. Uh, we don't have lakes or rivers, so the natural resources are underground and that is limited by the size of the country. So whatever uh, alternative source of water we can provide, whether it could be rainwater, re recycled wastewater, um, recycled grey water, that will of course help to meet the demand without and, and therefore alleviating stress from the groundwater reserves. Um, that is primarily how I see it um, uh, in, in, in uh, contributing towards a sustainable future in terms of fresh water use for the country. Um, so whatever uh, incentives we can provide to um, enhance, to increase the uptake of these technologies uh, would be beneficial for the country in the short, medium and long term.